Hi everybody, it's me, Miss Beeline. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Honey's Handmade Bentonite and Sea Clay Deep Conditioning Mask. I ordered it a few months back directly from the Honey's Handmade website and I paid about $13 for it. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts, then please stick around. I wash my hair with my absolute favorite non-natural um, shampoo and it's by Cream of Nature, the Sulfate Free Moisture and Shine Shampoo. You have seen it more than one time on this channel and I continue to use it because I love it. Two thumbs up. And you already know that I must use my Suave Almond and Shea Butter Conditioner. I have been using this from the beginning of my natural hair journey and oh my goodness it's the best so let's just talk about uh the consistency here are the ingredients and in terms of the consistency it is it's hard to explain so later on i'm going to come up a little bit closer so that you can can really get a good idea of how it looks but it feels soft it's it's on the softer side but it is textured there is some texture there and i'm assuming that that's just from the mixture of the clay the bentonite and sea clay um, so it does feel a little soft but there's also a thickness to it but not thick like a raw shea butter nothing like that so it's a mixture of soft and firm so here's a close up. If you can tell the, the texture that's all throughout the product. Yeah, I think that's just a mixture of the, the clay product itself, but it goes onto my hair very easily as you'll see uh, coming up. I sectioned my hair into four parts. And I just began slathering on <laughs> the clay. This is my first time, and this video is my first time using any type of clay on my hair since I've been natural. So I really didn't know what to expect. So I just, you know, just globbed it on. I wanted to make sure that every strand was saturated with the clay. And in my research, I also saw that bentonite clay is good for clarifying not only the hair, but the scalp as well. So I was also trying to be mindful to make sure that product was on the scalp as well as the hair. So as I said before, uh, I didn't have any problems getting the product onto my strands. It, it, I mean, my fingers are moving uh, nicely through each section. And usually when I put on any kind of mask, I would take a wide tooth comb and try to detangle or just make sure that the product is evenly distributed. But I saw immediately that I was not going to be able to use a comb <laughs> in my hair. Once the clay is on, no comb. Because now is, this is just my recommendation and my finding, but uh, no, the, the clay and a comb together to me is not a very good idea. Although the clay does not make my hair hard like a protein treatment, it's still, as you can see, my hair is still, you know, still kind of mobile, but I just do not recommend putting a comb through it because the, the clay does add some weight to my hair. And yeah, I just don't recommend it. Everyone knows their hair, so you you know your own hair. You may be able to put it on there and comb it through with no problem. But even, even with my strands being thin and fine, I still would feel uncomfortable taking a comb through it. But other than that, I'm having no problems getting this product on. There's no mess. It wasn't dripping down my face or my back. It's not all over my counter. It went easily from the container to my hands, from my hands to my hair. In terms of the smell, 
It is not perfumey. It doesn't smell like fruit. It is extremely earthy and herbal. That's the best way that I can describe it. It doesn't smell bad. It's not stink at all. And whatever smell is there, it dissipates. It doesn't linger, but it's not perfumey. It's just a nice mixture of like a herb and earthy type of smell. So once I got all the product on, I just wanted to feel how my hair felt. And like I said before, it feels, it, it is weighty, but it's also kind of thick. So the clay adds a little bit of a thickness to my hair. So once I was done with all of that, I covered with a conditioning cap for 45 minutes and I rinsed. And I rinsed <laughs> and I rinsed and that's another thing that I would advise rinse rinse and rinse some more just when you feel like you're done rinsing rinse again because that clay can get stuck through your hair that you know we don't have relaxed hair so if you especially if you have type 4 hair like mine you see all those bends and twists and curls and coils and kinks that clay will get all up in there and if you're not careful and open up your hair and let that water go all through there you will have bits of clay all through all throughout but i was able to rinse it all out with no problem and my hair feels elastic it's soft and like i said i didn't know what to expect i thought i was gonna have to follow up with another rinse out conditioner but my hair felt soft just as it was so i just went from this to my lock sesh session and i just began to moisturize my hair as usual there was no need for any additional conditioning. So those are my thoughts. Um, I will be using this again. I give it two thumbs up. And if you've never used a bentonite clay, then I, re I really do recommend trying it out. I'll leave all the information in the description area below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave it down in the comments in the yeah, in the comment section below. And please join me for the next video. Bye.